Well, you accused me of, huh? You think that I don't want to find the bastard that killed my fiance? Of course you do. Of course he does. I'm sorry. All right, this whole business has me climbing the walls. I know you're the last person that I should be accusing of. Hey, Dash, there's a Ms. Ridgeway on the phone from the EPA. Excuse me. Michael, Michael, listen. Nobody get you anything? It's on no, the house. Fine. No, I, uh, I'm not that hungry. Um, you know what, though? I'll have a double scotch, though, right? You got it, buddy. Have someone open. Yes, sit down. It's going to take some time. You know that, right? You know, she was so excited. I, I mean, when I asked her to marry me, I just... I know I loved her, but I didn't know how she felt about me. But then when we would talk about uh, the wedding and uh, getting a home and going out with kids, I could really see she loved me. And I'd gotten to the point where I didn't think I was ever going to have that. But um, it was going to happen with her. Because she really loved me. Whatever the hell that's worth now. It's worth a lot. It was and it still is. <clears throat> Do you have any leads at all? Oh, no, no. The dash you're talking to, I know you a hell of a lot better than he does. Cruz, um... Well, yeah, we have a lead. But, uh, it's no proof. I mean, it's nothing positive yet, so, um... He told me that I had to hold back. And that's making you nuts, right? Well, we know who killed Nikki, but... There's not one damn thing I can do about Look, if Cruz is telling you to wait, that means he's onto something. He will find the person, I promise. Willie, then why should I have to wait? You know, revenge. It isn't sweet, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And when I just think about nailing the bastard who did that to Nikki, I mean, at least I feel as though I'm not letting her go. You have to try to remain calm if you can. I am. I just... I am trying, but... I've been having these ideas. And uh, sometimes it's very hard to get rid of them. But... Um, you know... Look, will you tell Nichols that I'll talk to him tomorrow? I gotta go. I just, I gotta go. Michael, wait. Is he all right? No, he's not. And he doesn't want to talk about the investigation. Well, I guess I handled that pretty badly. Huh? Yes, you did. Can you just try to understand how he feels? You know I do. Sorry, I forgot. I, yeah, I, I know. It's all right. I didn't realize until tonight that you and Michael were such good friends. He's helped me through some very difficult times, and I, I would like to do the same for him. Well, I don't think there's any, there's much anybody can do for him right now. I mean, when Nikki died, he must have felt like he lost the most meaningful thing in his life. And then there's like this, this sudden feeling of emptiness, and you try to replace that with anger and resentment. And then finally, when that goes away, you just feel empty inside again. And somehow you just keep on going. And you keep wondering if anything will come along and fill that emptiness. Well. If he's lucky.